the Guardians of the Galaxy are gearing up for one last ride in the MCU. Will critics pump the brakes on this blaze of glory? So far, the reactions have been largely positive, though some have a few complaints. After a complicated production history, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 finally hit theaters on May 5, 2023, bringing director James Gunn's Marvel Cinematic Universe space opera to a heartstring-tugging conclusion that centers around the extremely tragic backstory of Bradley Cooper's rocket. Me and my friends are gonna go flying together into the forever and beautiful sky. Now that some people have already been able to see the movie a little early, eagerly awaited first reactions have started to arrive. Fortunately for fans of the series, many of these first impressions are nothing short of stellar. But there are also those who have spotted some strain at the seams. Steven Weintraub of Collider was among those enamored by the film, praising the experience of seeing the movie in IMAX and tweeting, Loved Guardians of the Galaxy 3. James Gunn is leaving Marvel with an exceptional last film, and it's loaded with so many great moments it's hard to pick my favorite scene. Verge's Charles Pulliam was somewhat more critical, finding that the film leaned a bit too much on the wrong things. He tweeted, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is very pretty, too jokey, and hinges on you still being wrapped up in the emotional fervor of Endgame, which I don't think a lot of people are. Her dad threw off a magic cliff and she died, and then I lost my temper and nearly destroyed half the universe. A lot of people who have seen the movie early do seem to have that emotional fervor, though. Gunn's final work for the MCU has been a long time coming, and more than one first reaction specifically advised the viewer to bring tissues because of the sheer emotional impact. For example, Leo Rydell of Geekly Gods enthused on Twitter, emotional, action-packed, comedic, and a tone that delivers. Grab the tissues, cause damn, there are some moments, man. Rocket is the man. Music choices great per usual, and VFX deliver. Had a blast. Andrew J. Salazar of Discussing Film agreed, tweeting, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is the most heart and soul from any MCU film in a long time. At times, it's hard to believe that Gunn got away with so much of this in the best way possible. You're going to need tissues, but not for the reasons you're expecting. Several others, like Mike Ryan of Uprox and Sean Tajipour of Nerdtropolis, also praise the movie and the emotional punch it packs, while Pop Cult Planet and MTV's Kristin Maldonado credited Volume 3 for breathing new life in the genre, tweeting, After so much superhero movie fatigue, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is a refreshing and unexpected joy to watch. Even the critical first impressions that weren't entirely praised seem to be mostly positive about the film, pointing out individual issues rather than outright lambasting Volume 3 as a whole. Why Tromboe of Inverse saw good things in the movie, but lamented its apparent lack of stakes in the grander scheme of things. She tweeted, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is the Star Trek beyond of the series, in the best and not so best ways. But Gunn is really good at this whole disarmingly earnest superhero thing, and even more so when he unleashes his old trauma instincts. Wish it felt less like a side quest, though. We're listening to everything you're saying. And it is painful. Alex Madden, who reviews films on YouTube, felt the movie couldn't quite deliver on the level the very first Guardians of the Galaxy did, but still rated it above Volume 2, tweeting, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 takes a lot of big swings and mostly delivers. A couple hiccups here and there, but the glue that holds this movie together is definitely Rocket. Meanwhile, Matt Neglia of Next Best Picture took a harsher approach. He praised the visuals, but said the rest was a mixed bag, tweeting, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 aspires for sweeping emotion, gut-busting laughs, and thrilling action. It sometimes succeeds, but as a send-off for all of these characters, it feels strangely uneven and anticlimactic. It seems that the people who enjoyed seeing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 love it very, very much. And even the ones who weren't quite so swept away with it found plenty of good to go with the bad. 